All right, so here I'm going to be using a cold water agate, also called Druzy Quartz, mostly found in the Great Lakes area. Taking my copper wire and starting to wrap around to make the base and the root system of the tree. Forming the base of the tree and twisting and forming the root system with the pliers. Now I'm separating out the branches, twisting those out. I'm going to be using a dyed magnesite leaf here. Forming the branches is pretty easy. You just slide your gemstone on and then twist the wire around itself, around the stone. And then when you're finished with that, you just twist the rest of the wire all the way down and that will form the individual branch. Twist and or cut off any excess. I decided to twist this one since I had some extra room on the other branch. And we're just going to continue this all the way around the base. And you can run these beads as far up or down this little stretch of wire as you choose to create however long of a branch you desire. I felt like this one was a little long, so I did some extra twisting just to kind of tighten it up a little bit. We're just going to flatten out any ends here just so that they're not pokey. I'm starting on the second branch and pulling out extra for the third. Untwisting the wires from the way that they were packaged so that we can twist them how we want. This section had four wires, so what I'm doing here is twisting all four together in sections of two. And then when I get the desired length I want, I separate two wires and twist those each together. That'll form two separate branches off of one main branch. And I will apologize, this video will be going in and out of focus just a little bit um, because the top long wires that I haven't separated or done anything with yet every now and then do catch in front of the camera and cause it to go out of focus. Here I cut off the excess, and then I'm just tucking the end of the wire. Starting on the second section of this branch.
And now we're twisting the remaining two wires to fall out the second part of this singular branch. And I realized I had twisted this wire the opposite way, so I untwisted it and folded it back around the way that it followed the grain of the wire. Retucking that end. And now we're starting on the second portion of the second branch. Tucking that end, and now we're finished with the second branch, starting on the third. And again, we're untwisting these wires. This section also had four, so we're just repeating what we did with the second branch. Twisting into one singular, and then separating into two smaller. And I'm sorry for the wire uh, flying in the camera face. I did try to keep it out of the way as best as possible. Um, with the way the tree was turning and how I had to grasp it, it wasn't completely possible. Crimping up the end, and starting on the second half. I did speed up the previous section extra, just so that it wouldn't take so long to get through this. And once these two last branches are done, I will be skipping ahead, so you'll see that here shortly. Um, just because it is the same all the way up the tree, and I don't want to make you guys sit here for an hour doing the same thing with me. And taking care of the last and final section of this third branch. And here I realized that the wire was a little too short, so I twisted the two leaves together near the base just so that I had enough to finish it off. Tucking the end of that wire. And now we're just pushing everything out of the way. 
Ta-da! Here is where we are picking everything back up. As I worked along, I pushed everything towards the base so that I had room to work. Now we're pulling everything back up and filling out the tree. Trying to make sure that there is no gaps. Twisting and pulling the sections of leaves apart, pressing back anything that I feel like sticks out too far. And here I bumped the camera. I'm sorry, you can see my stand through the corner of the lens. I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize until I was looking back editing again. And here, the wires on the bottom, I did make a little bit too long, so I'm taking the pliers and I'm just twisting those in a little bit so that they're a little bit closer to the base. And we are all finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and if you want to be notified every time I post new videos, hit the little bell icon. See you guys next month.